Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to put your mini happy planner into the Michaels Recollections planners that they have. I'm going to walk you step by step on how to take out the rings and how to insert and everything. So here I have my six ring rose metallic binder by Recollections and you only need a few supplies for this. You are going to need two sets of pliers. It is suggested that you have two different kinds of needle nose pliers, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna make do with what I have here and I have these needle nose ones and then I'm not really sure exactly what kind of pliers those are, but they get the job done. You will also need an X-Acto knife and your planner. So I'm just gonna jump right into the video here. So what you're going to want to do first is I would kind of just bend this out so it's a little bit more flat. These aren't the most expensive items on the market, but they are pretty sturdy. So you're going to take your needle nose pliers and I would turn it and kind of just start from here and curl on the side. Take this by the edge if you can see there I'm grabbing underneath as well. Be careful not to scratch your leather. Go underneath and just curl up as much as you can. My rings went into each other right there, that's totally fine. And you're going to do the exact same thing on this side. And you can take these little pieces off if you'd like, they rip off real easy. So go ahead and do that if they're getting in your way. Mine on this side were not, so that was not a big deal to me. So there is stitching down here that you're going to need to use your X-Acto knife for. This will serve as the end step as there is a piece of like uh, plastic in there that holds those rings in. So you're going to cut just a little bit of the stitching. I don't have a seam ripper which would work a lot better than an X-Acto knife. But just go ahead and use this and make sure you're going at the bottom, not the top. Because you're going to notice it a lot up here whereas you don't notice it down here. So you're just going to get started and I would just very gently push down. You don't need to cut much, just enough. So now that that's done, you're going to take your second pair of pliers, sneak it right underneath and you're going to hold, there's a little holder right here that's holding these rings to the piece of plastic that's inside of there. So you're just going to want to make sure that your needle knows or whatever pliers you're using, holds that part while your second pair of needle nose pliers holds the other. And you're gonna pull those off of each other. So it's kind of tough, but just keep going and then you'll get it off just like that. So now that you've done it on one side, you gotta do it on the other. So just the same thing, you're just gonna wanna hold Hold there, pull here, keep pulling up until you get it off. Sometimes the second one is a little bit trickier because you have a little more tension on there. So then there's that. So these you can just throw away, they're cheap anyway, you don't need them. And now, now that you have these two little sprockets sitting here, you can just honestly pull. I can get this one. Sometimes, um, like that one came off really easy. This one might not. I might try to pull it off a little bit. So it's not coming off, so I'm just going to take my needle nose pliers and pull. And there you have it. So now what you do is you're going to pull this up so those disconnect from there. And this one might be tricky to do so you can push it through just like that and then you take these pliers again I would go right down in that hole that you created grab it make sure let's see here. make sure that these are out of the holes because if you pull you're just gonna rip those holes Push with this. Down in there. There we go. 
So now that I have both of those out of the holes, I'm just going to take my pliers. I'm going to go in that hole that we created in the beginning by using the X-Acto knife. I'm going to grab that plastic divider. I can find it. It's kind of hard to do without looking at. There. And then we just... Oh my gosh, back in the hole. <laughs> okay. Let's retry this one more time. So yeah, be careful that you're not scratching your leather because that does look not the prettiest. Um, but just be gentle with your pliers and make sure you're not really scratching. So now that I have that out of the hole, I actually have it in my hand. So I'm just going to pull, of course, the second I see that it doesn't come out. I'm just going to pull that out of that binding, and there you have it. So now that I've taken this out, I have these two gaping holes here. And I don't like the way those look, that's just me. If you don't mind them, you can leave them. But what I did with my blue recollections is I just took a piece of washi tape. As you can see, it doesn't stick very well, but it does the job so that when your happy planner is in there, that is covered and it doesn't look super ugly. So I'm gonna grab some tape that'll match this and I'll tape it up. So this is washi tape I got from Michaels. I think it's super cute. It's thick enough that it's gonna cover both of those holes. So then I would just start at the top, stick it, Pull down, go over that second one. I'm going to take my scissors, cut, stick that side down, and then take these scissors, and I'm going to cut up top. So here you have the cheaper version of Me and My Big Ideas Deluxe Cover. I bought a ton of these when they first came out at Michael's, so I have a ton just laying around. And I actually love mini planners more than my classic, so I've been using them a lot. So I'm going to put my happy planner in there and I will show you what it looks like. Here I have my mini planner. It is my budget and health planner. And I have just an insert from uh, my undated mini that I just stole out of there and put it in here so I could start using it right away. And it's just really cute. It's adorable. I highly, highly recommend minis. But the way that you insert these into the Recollections Planner is this back cover actually just slides right in. It's kind of tough because it's an like, almost exact fit. So just be gentle and really just push it in there. I'm pushing it against my knee right now just to get it in there so it goes in snug and it'll stay. All right, so at about right there, you're still gonna see some of your cover, but you don't need to push it in any farther because it will stick in there. And something to also note is you do not put this cover in, in the, this pocket. Because if you do, every single time you open it, that cover is just gonna pop off. So you leave the cover out and there you have it. There, It is my mini DIY deluxe cover. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and subscribe if you feel. I will be posting videos every Monday and Wednesday with new footage of happy planners and DIYs and budgets and that kind of thing. So if you like that kind of thing, make sure you stick around and I will see you guys next time. Bye.